Hi, I'm Craig Phillips, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own bench out of recycled pallet wood. The tools you're going to require a cordless drill with drill bits, a set square, clamps, screws, hole cutter, tape measure, chop saw. If you don't have a chop saw, a hand saw is fine. Now the standard size of one of the pallet slots is usually about 1200 millimeters, which is what I'm going to use for the seat of the bench. All I need to do now is cut two legs to size. Now I'm choosing them to be about 400 millimeters. Again, you can pick your own size that suits you. Quick mark on it. I'm going to do my cuts with chop saw. It's a lot quicker and easier when you've got to do a lot of cuts. Of course, if you haven't got a chop saw, you can always use your hand saw. Now, I'll just place those legs across here and here, and then place the bench section on the top. I'm going to drill a couple of pilots hole in there, glue and screw them together and then stand it upright and double check the size. Now it's very important to make sure your corners nice and square when you're fixing these together. Once you've got one side glued and screwed in nice and firm, do the same on the opposite side. Now the opposite side is fixed together. You can stand that up, double check that you're happy with the height of the legs and of course the length of the bench. Then you can start cutting yourself a kit apart. All you need to do now is cut about at least eight of these for the minimum width of the bench. Of course, you can make it wider if you prefer. Now we need to cut 16 legs. Now the 16 legs are cut, we can start fixing them together. What I have done is cut some little off-cut pieces, which I just put under temporary to keep it level and help square it up. Again, using your set square, double check. You've got your corners nice and square. Drill a couple of pilot holes in them. Apply a small amount of glue. One thing to consider. When you're doing the corners, each timber that you're lapping on top of one another, you're putting two screws in. So once you've put them in at one angle, the next piece of wood, put them in the opposite angle so you don't drive them into one another. Okay, that's the eighth piece. Now put on the top of the bench. You can stand that up. Double check that you're happy with the width of it. You've got your eight legs either side of it, all screwed and glued together. Once you're happy with that, you can then cut some off cuts to put down the face of that, just to keep it nice and flush there to the floor. And then the same again on the opposite side here. We can cut a piece tight into there all the way across.
Okay. Get a small bit of glue on the back of that piece. Level it up with that front leg. A couple of little pilot holes. And then drive a few more screws right the way in so it's nice and tight. Same again on the opposite leg. Okay, there's the two front pieces in. And same again with the top section. Okay, so that's now the whole structure more or less complete. We've got all the slots in, the legs in position, we've got the reinforcement bits on the two front legs and also the reinforcement bit on the back. You're now at a point you can take the rough edges off the timber and you might find that it's got different colours in some areas and splinters as well where you've been cutting it. The best way is by using an electric sander. And of course, if you haven't got an electric sander, you can always use a hand sander. Now all the edges are nice and smooth, the next stage is to stabilise the base of the legs. Now of course you've got a gap in there, so you will find a tiny bit of movement. We could of course cut some small pieces of timber and simply slide those in. However, it's nice to be creative and cut out some little circular pieces of wood and slot them in there. You'll see they're not only looks good but it will make it a lot more stable really quick and simple to do by using a hole cutter now all my circular pieces of wood are cut I'm just going to apply a little bit of wood glue on both sides of them and then slide them in between the legs now at this point I don't have to worry too much about getting them level until I clamp them and then I'll square them up now once they're all placed into position, of course the glue's still wet on them, I'm going to get a clamp and start to gently tighten it up. Once I get a bit of grip on it, I can then focus on getting these to look relatively level. Okay, so now you're happy that you've got them level, squeeze them together with the clamps and then you can get yourself a little damp cloth and just try to wipe off any of that glue that's oozing out. Perfect. Now once that glue is dry, simply remove your clamp and that's your bench complete. Now of course you can varnish it, stain it or put wood treatment on it if it's going to be outside. Now for more pallet project videos, please visit the website silverlinetools.com.